This video is brought to you by Nate Productions. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Building on top of our previous tutorial where we had a look at the text mesh pro component, how to change different values and properties to make your text look nice, we'll be taking a look at how to change those values through the script. So which I showed you how to have a look at and change these values through the inspector, but I didn't show you how to change these values through script, and that is a very common thing that you might be looking for. So I have a, a text script attached to my title here, and if I open this up, I have some code prepared for you. So in order to make changes to the text mesh pro component, you will need to include this using TMP Pro and the Unity uh, engine UI is not really necessary to include the UI, but I always do so when working with UI. It's just a good practice essentially, but you don't need to use this, I think, for the Text Mesh Pro. And uh, I have this start function here where I'm getting the component of the Text Mesh Pro U, uh, GUI. Essentially, I'm getting the component from the title, which is called Text Mesh Pro. I'm getting this essentially and getting it in my script and I'm changing the text. So in order to change your text, you need to write the variable name, which is the text. I named this text and then accessing the text property and changing this to text area essentially. Then you can change the font style. For example, we had a look at the font style here, which is the bold, Italian and underline, which are here. You can change that through the font style and set font style bold. And essentially this will enable bold. Uh, another thing, you can change the font size to 30 by writing dot font size. And then how can I change the material? So the material is a slightly different uh, thing from the component. So you can see there are two different things from one another. And in order to gain access to the material, you will first need to uh, gain access to the material through the text. So I'm getting the text dot font dot material and storing it in the font uh, variable, which is of type material. And let's say I want to change the delete to one. So I want to change the face uh, delete, which I have 0 0.1 to one. So this will turn it into this essentially. And I <laughs> obviously won't be looking great, but I want to show you that it's, it's changing the value through the script. And another thing that I have here is the outline width which is this essentially so it will change the thickness i know it's width here but it's thickness here it kind of inconsistent and i don't understand why unity does that but yeah and we can do that through the set float which is essentially saying set this float to one for example or this float to one so we're passing in a string which is the name of the property that we want to change and then the value and that is pretty much it so if i were to run this you'll see that my text will turn very ugly as you can see it turned to text area it set this to bold it will it actually uh, change the outline to one so the thickness as we said it's wide it's set to one as you can see if i turn it down it turns to this and this is due to the fact that the delete is also increased very uh to a very large number okay so you might be wondering what about the other ones how can i know what are the names for the other values as well of course i gave you the face delete and the outline but how i know for the rest there are plenty of other stuff as well and the way to know that is going to uh on the name here next to the shader there is an edit button and once you click that, you will be prompted with this thing, which is essentially saying, how should I open this file? I usually go for the notepad. In this file, you will be able to find all the properties names that you want. And there is plenty of other information as well here. So uh, on the left hand side, there are the names that you'll be able to use to access these properties through your script. So if, for example, you want to change the texture of the face, instead of using the set float you'll use maybe font set texture then use the name that we have here which is the face text and paste that in and then pass in a texture which i don't really have right now just for example sake i won't be saying this because there is no texture but if you want to change the texture you'll need to have a texture here and apply that in so 
there is plenty of stuff to uh, work around. Of course, I, in our case, I use the set float, for example, because most of these are floats. There are numbers that you're changing around, but there are some textures and some stuff that uh, might not be neither of these. For example, a color is a vector, a vector four, I believe, and you'll need to uh, set that accordingly. And yeah, uh, this is how you will find the names that you want. There are some other stuff as well, which, which you don't really need. So all these kind of stuff is shader stuff, you, which you don't really need to care about. But this is a very simple trick to know of in order to find the properties names that you want to change. So uh, I hope you find this useful. And if you did, make sure to subscribe in the channel for more useful videos. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Want to become a professional game developer? I designed the ultimate game development course that will teach you everything you need to make your own top quality games with over 20 hours of content and 100 lectures at your disposal. Make sure to check the link in the description for more information.